me, Kylie. Welcome to the studio. Today for our quick craft, we're going to make a special kind of sculpture together. It's called a relief. Relief is a word that means a feeling too. Like maybe you've been really worried about something and then it turns out it all worked out and you never need to worry in the first place. And then you'd be like, whew, I'm so relieved. You would be feeling relief but it's also a word that describes a special kind of sculpture where all of the pieces are connected to one flat background piece, but they're raised up off of it, so it's kind of bumpy when you touch it. This is a really, really fun sculpture to do that you can make and paint. I'm gonna make two kinds of reliefs today, and you can make whatever kind you can imagine yourself. Here's what you need, air dry clay, a disposable cup and a popsicle stick, a rolling pin, measuring cups, plaster of Paris, and some paper plates. That's it! Oh, actually, one more thing. Something to use to make your relief with. I said I was gonna make two today. I'm gonna make one with things I find outside, flowers and leaves, and the other with some toys that I find in our toy drawer. Let's go get our subjects. Come on! We found our flowers outside. Now it's time to find some toys inside. I'm taking you to a very special drawer. I wonder if you have one like this in your house. I call it the tiny toys drawer. And it's where I put all of Dax's tiny toys that I don't really know where to put anywhere else. It's great for random toys, which is great for an art project. Let's check it out, see what we can find. Oh wow, yes. This is everything we could ever need. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of one of those I spy books where you have to find certain things in a picture that's like a big mess. Oh, good idea. Okay, can you find a blue basketball? Oh, you're good. Can you find a green whistle? This one's pretty tough. Oh, here it is. How about a boy in a green hat? Hi, hi, I'm right here. Thanks for finding me. Can you find a yellow triangle? Here's one. Oh, let's keep this aside for our sculpture. I found some amazing things to make my relief with. One is this really cool flower and its leaves. And the second, a bunch of random, but really fun toys. The first thing you're gonna do is take off a piece of your air dry clay. Then you're going to roll it out onto your paper plate. Next, you're gonna take the object that you're making your relief with and arrange it onto your clay. So put it all where you want it and then just kind of press it down into the clay with your fingers. Then use your roller to flatten it right into the clay. We're gonna do the same thing for our toy relief. we're gonna take them out of the clay and that will leave behind a perfect mold for our relief. A pair of tweezers can be really helpful to get the little small parts out of everything.
These look incredible. Next, you're gonna make a little rim to go all the way around your mold. This will help the plaster of Paris stay put while it's drying. You can either pinch up the edges of your mold to do this or add a little bit of clay to make a higher side. If you want a hole in the relief so that you can hang it with a piece of ribbon or string, use a straw to poke a hole in your mold. Just leave it there. Cool. Now let's mix up our plaster of Paris. You're going to do one part cold, clean water to two parts plaster of Paris. I like to start with the water and add in the plaster of Paris slowly as I stir. The plaster of Paris is ready. Our molds are ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do this. Just pour the plaster of Paris right into your mold. And then wait about half an hour until it's dry, except in this video, you don't need to wait. Check it out. Ready to take them out? They're all dry. I see the domino and the triangle. The bunny's ear got a little messed up, but I still think he's cute. There's the pirate treasure and the die and the chess piece and the putter. Cool. Let's look at our flower. Do you can clean up the edges with a scissor just by trimming carefully, carefully, or letting a grown up help you some of this extra off. These look pretty amazing as they are, but I do think I'm gonna paint them a little bit. done painting my relief sculptures. Look at this flower. Isn't it beautiful? I put it on this ribbon so that it can hang on the wall or in a window or anywhere you want to hang it, I guess. This flower will help whoever is looking at it know that even when it's winter and things look icky outside, even though the flowers and the leaves are all gone, they're going to come back. I'm gonna send it to one of my friends who's having kind of a hard time. Right now, their life looks really wintry. But every time they see this, I'm gonna tell them that it's a reminder that beautiful things are coming again. Spring, summer, flowers, they're on their way. with this one, the tiny toy drawer one. I like it, I just, I, I'm not quite sure where to put it. I know where to put it. Come on. It was so fun making these relief sculptures with you today. I hope that you use this amazing and easy way to make art for all sorts of different things. 
Maybe you love flowers and leaves. Maybe you have a friend who needs a reminder that beauty is always around us. Maybe you need that reminder. This would be a great art project for you. Or maybe you have a few favorite toys or favorite shapes or who knows, the sky's the limit that you can make your very own relief sculpture design with. If you want to make more things with me, just search Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Also, parents, educators, and kids, I have more things for you on my website, kyliemakesit.com. They go along with my videos. So if you want to make a couple things while you watch, check it out. I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are and whoever you are. And even if you aren't, be reminded, beauty is always coming back. We're gonna make it. See you next time.